Hello, Owl fans. Welcome to another edition of the FAU Baseball Insider, your inside source for all things Owls baseball. I'm your host, Jared Smith, and my guest, as always, head coach of the FAU Baseball Program, John McCormick. Coach, welcome back to the show. Thank you, Jared. Good to be back. FAU returns to Boca Raton this week after having the weekend up in Auburn. They lost two out of three to Missouri, Boston College, and Auburn. They had a victory in between the middle game of that series against Boston College on Saturday. Let's talk about the positives first. Let's talk about Saturday's victory against BC. Mike Gibson, another great start, seven wow. innings, and he just keeps on rolling. Wow. It was... Uh... It was impressive, you know, and uh, his his start this week, he pitched out of a little bit more jams than he did the previous week, and there was a couple there was a couple chances there for Boston College to get back in it, and he just slammed the door. He pitched really, really well. All right, let's go to the not so positives now. Opening the night off Friday night, the loss to Missouri, 42. Taylor Everest, I think, pitched another great game. He hasn't walked a batter yet in 13 innings pitched, and just the runs not coming in that game for FAU. Without a doubt, it was a very good college baseball game. I thought our guys played played really well. Uh, we pitched well. Taylor was fantastic. Their guy was good. Um, the difference was they had two more hits than us in terms of in a key situation. Uh, we played good defense. Um, you know, we just we just could not get over the hump. And you know, credit their pitching. We just couldn't get over the hump with those two hits. The series finale, uh, sorry, the series finale against Auburn on Sunday. It was a tough outing for Kevin Alexander. He gave up a lot of earned runs in that game. Is 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 that something that you know you kind of expect a freshman playing in his first season to kind of run into a buzzsaw like that early in the year? Those things happen. You know, um, you know, it's your second start. You're on the road at Auburn. It was a good crowd. It was a good weekend. And those things do happen. I, you know, he'll start again this Sunday. We have complete faith in him. It was just, you know, from the first pitch. The guy hit the first pitch for a double, and I think it, sh it shook Kevin a little bit. Uh, he ended up kind of gathering himself in the third inning and put up a zero, um, so he was able to kind of come back from some adversity. Uh, but that wasn't a good day for Al baseball uh, all around. You know, we didn't, we didn't p pitch particularly well. I know we scored five runs and had ten hits, but, you know, we, we let some opportunities get away, and then, of course, defensively we made a couple errors, which – is really uncharacteristic of us. Right, the good thing about baseball is that usually you get to turn the page very quickly, and the Owls will turn the page this weekend. They will welcome Boston College here to FAU Stadium this weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, for a three-game weekend series, the same Boston College team that FAU was able to defeat last Saturday. So tell me what you expect from the Eagles coming in this weekend. Well, I, you know, they lost a close game on Friday night to Auburn up there, and then, of course, we beat them, and then they turned around and beat Missouri pretty handily on Sunday, 15, 14 to, you know, 8 or 9. So... They can score some runs. They have some, you know, their first first baseman, third baseman, two, one left-handed hitter, one right-handed hitter can really, really swing the bat. Their center fielder is a good player. Um, you know, I, I expect them to be a good team. They are a good team, a good ACC opponent. They have, they have uh, really done a nice job. Mick has done a really nice job with that program. We talked about the pitching things. Now let's go to the offense. Obviously, Dan Scheffel and Andy Mee have started the season off like gangbusters. They both have started the season on six-game hitting streak, and, and they both are newcomers to this program, both junior college transfers. Is that what you expected from those two kids on the offensive side of it? Without this? a doubt. Without a doubt. And, and Anthony Mace is swinging a very good bat. We just need to get some of those other guys in, uh, up and running, so to speak. Um, you know, Colby and Nick Del Judas especially come to mind are two guys that hit in front of those two guys and hit behind them. Um, Sean Bukovic uh, is another another returning guy that needs to kind of get it going a little bit. But uh, we'll have a good week of practice uh, this week, and, you know, we'll be ready on Friday night. You're six games into the season. Obviously, you don't want to be 3-3. Three and three. You want to be above the 500 mark. But it's funny to think conference tournament play is right around the corner. Do you still have a lot of improving to do between now and when we guys go to Troy next weekend? You know, there's always improvement. I think you're improving all the way up throughout the whole season. Um, I think what we need to find out offensively is, you know, hopefully we get Eddie Cassidy back this weekend. We can insert him into the lineup, which through the inner squads in fall and, and later in the spring, he's really swung the bat well. That might give that that will certainly give us a boost. And then I think we just need to figure out um, some other little pieces and in terms of, you know, do we continue to platoon at third base or do we? Do we just put one guy there and say, hey, you're the guy? Uh, but you look at some guys that have come off the bench. Joey Burkhalter is one guy that comes to mind, has done a really nice job. Uh, Corey uh, Keller has come off the bench and done a really nice job. So we have some options. Uh, we just got to put them all in the right pieces. All right, the Owls will return home this weekend here to Boca Raton to take on Boston College. It'll be a three-game series against the Eagles Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And then next Wednesday, they'll be playing Pittsburgh. And then conference play begins March 12th up in Troy, Alabama to take on the Trojans. For my guest, John McCormick here on the Baseball Insider, I'm your host, Jared Smith. See you at the ballpark this weekend. We'll see you at the ballpark this weekend. And don't forget to catch 
uh, both the men's and women's Al basketball team in the conference tournament. Uh, we're looking forward for Coach Dugan and Coach uh, Jarvis to have uh, good showings up there and win it for us. Multi-sport uh, dimensions here with John McCormick. you got to love the house. The <laughs> tennis team is up and running. Uh, softball had a big weekend this past weekend. Uh, there's a ton of things going on this spring, as you know. <laughs> Next week it'll be the FAU Athletics Insider, maybe, with head well, coach John McCormick. You know? <laughs> we can branch out into Major League Baseball. Oh, yeah, that's right. Politics, spring training around the corner, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see you this weekend at the ballpark. Take care.